Hey everybody, Norm over here, and I've got my buddy Paul Brown, and Paul has uh, produced all kinds of big acts, George Benson, who else? Tell me. Tell uh, Al Jarreau and um, Boney James and Kirk Whalum and lots of, you know, jazz folks and blues Did some folks. stuff with Bobby Caldwell too? Bobby Caldwell, yeah. oh yeah. Yeah, my Bobby buddy. Osborne. So, anyhow, um, Paul has, you know, two groups. He has a jazz group and he has a blues group. So and kind of a combo. Going to do lots of blues and we do a, a few jazz tunes too. Cool. And and right here, this is the Brothers Brown. That is, uh, this is the blues group, right? Yeah, with another guy named Paul Brown. That makes it real easy for us old B3. guys to remember names. Yeah, B3 uh, We got player. two Paul Browns in That's one right. band. That's kind of a good thing. And then, Paul, this is a very good picture of you over here yeah, with this I look tattoo. Good there, yeah, yeah. You just, it's just the, uh, I don't know if it's the angle, but you're looking very good in this Thank picture. You, and uh, <laughs> so can, can you tell us a little bit about the gig that you're doing? Is this with the blues band? And yeah, it's the blues band. It's actually a combo because um, the guys in Nashville aren't going to come out for this little gig, but it's just too, you know. Not, Tony Bronicle's playing enough. with you, though. I've got Tony Bronicle. Tony is bad news drummer. on drums. He's one of the best. And uh, Lee Thornburg and Greg Vale on horns and um, Mark Gobashi on keys and Roberto Valley on bass. You have that tattoo, don't you? On your ass? <laughs> on my ass, yeah. Uh, he says, what the fuck are you looking at? <laughs> Anyhow, you're going to do uh, just a little bit of uh, and people here. That's right. Keeps on haunting me When we were together And everything Was so grand So grand Now that we've parted Well there's just one sound That I can't stand I can't, I can't stand, stand the rain, rain. Paul Brown. And you know what? Before you get up, nice hang guitar. on one second. Sit right there. He's giving me this guitar for this interview, which is pretty. Uh, no, but generous. I turned off the distortion. I want you to play a little jazz stuff on there just so these guys can hear what you do. Oh, I can't hear this. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Actually, I took guitar lessons from Ted Green down the street when he worked at Ernie Ball's back in the 70s. I and, remember uh, that. I remember, remember that Ted? store? See if I remember a, a, a Ted Green. I don't do this in my show. It's more of a lot of R&B jazz that I do on my show, but um, let's see. So I haven't played this in a long time. Let's see. By the way, just so you know, you see a poker table over here with some chips over here. Um, it's after hours of Norm's Rare Guitars, a little poker game. My buddy Paul Brown's playing. And uh, film one hand with you. Don't, don't you want to start, have Jim film you play one hand? No, no. Nah, you, you know what? I'm the winner of the uh, <laughs> Joe Bonamassa poker tournament. I don't give my secrets away. Nobody's filming any hands of mine. Sorry. Yeah, Hang on I'll one sec. That, Norm. Yeah, I'm going to give you an L5, though, because I want you to do this. It doesn't make any sense doing that. Yeah, it makes sense to me perfectly. I feel like Andre the Giant playing it. That's the only problem. Um, let's see. Come on. 
low sunshine when she's gone Only darkness every day Ain't no sunshine when she's gone She's always gone too long guitarist poker game and you uh, know that's true and Paul been drinking a little bit too over there well, you know yeah. so uh, that always you play the blues you got to drink something well when he plays poker with me I got to get him <laughs> drunk a little bit <laughs> Paul Brown <laughs> <laughs> 